Good afternoon. We're back. Just me. Like I said in the last video, I've just come down to uh, the breakwater. Try and pull myself out of a bit of a photography rut and uh, hopefully help a couple of you guys on the way. So enough of that. Let's uh, roll some B-roll. <laughs> So if you're like me and you have those days where you're in like a complete, I guess, creative rut, especially in regards to photography, you know, the days where like you just could not be effed going out and doing anything because you just have no motivation or inspiration. But look, I'm not here to, I guess, fix that and give some magic solution, but I think all I can do is share, I think how I tend to try and break myself out of those. Now, this is mostly in regards to photography, but uh, I guess it applies to video too. I know, I kind of find, videos about being motivated about making videos kind of weird because you're making a video so you're getting something out there and I guess kind of capitalizing on you know people clicking and giving you views but yes anyway applies so let's start off with uh, uh, tip number one uh, when you're in a bit of a rut uh, avoid social media like the goddamn plague because there is nothing more depressing than scrolling through say Instagram and you know seeing these people off in these amazing faraway places globe trot trotting when you know you're at home sitting on the couch eating a block of chocolate and uh, watching Paw Patrol because that was the only way you could get your toddler to eat dinner that was my Wednesday and on that note too like stop comparing yourself to other creators you know we can't all be and we're not all like cinematography masters like Peter McKinnon and you know like amazing storytellers like Casey you know remember that they started somewhere too and they were terrible like all of us and um, you know, obviously you'll improve and how do we improve? It's by doing. So get out and film and just hit record. Number two, and it's uh, something I used to avoid all the time is visit those touristy locations. You know, you're always told like, stay away from the main tourist spots and you know, go somewhere near it and try and get a different perspective. But remember that they're, they're tourist spots for a reason. They're there because you know, it's an interesting place, usually with an interesting view. You know, I know that they're usually like filled with three types of people, like, you know, you have your, your family's there and they're you know, doing those terrible top-down photos, trying to get all their kids in the shot. Now you've got your tourists and uh, they're usually old people. You know, the ones uh, with their belts of many photography things and they're there doing these ones, you know, trying to work out their settings. And then the last ones, you know, you know the girls there, all the guys who are, you know, constantly telling their friends they're not, you know, getting their selfies so they can chuck a, a sweet Instagram filter on top. But visit those spots and try and make a challenge out of it but you know use those spots you know instead of taking the normal touristy shots try and get a unique try and get a like unique perspective of that view like in that particular spot like Castle Hill I used to avoid that place at all times because you know, when you look at this place here it's one of the main tourist locations it's got a perfect 360 degree view of the city and surrounds and um, it, like you know, a lot of the shots you see up there it's, it's pretty uninspired but I've started going back up there and having a bit of a play and uh, challenging myself to get a unique perspective of the same views that people are normally getting. And it's sort of, I guess, paid off well, like on, on my Instagram site anyway. Number three, and I used to do this all the time too. Don't take all the gear that you own. Challenge yourself, take one piece of equipment. You've got to, if you have a camera, take one lens. Just see what you can come up with. Like for example, right now I've come down to the breakwater if I wasn't filming this, I'd only have my drone. But you'll find that when you take one piece of equipment, you can connect a little bit better. You're not always, you know, screwing about in your bag, swapping lenses and missing shots. And you know, if you take your drone and you only have that, well, you're only focusing on your drone in the air, which you probably should be anyway, but we're all sometimes a bit naughty. So don't overdo the gear. Just take one thing. All right, number four, another good one. Learn a new editing trick. I don't know how many times I've you know, done that. I've, I've just jumped onto YouTube and found a couple tutorials and you'll, you'll find most of the time you can just do it at home in your room. Like a simple one that anyone can do. Um, like a, a double exposure. You know, merging two images into one. 
always create something cool, a little bit unique. Um, I'll flash up one that I done a little while ago right now. And that was just down at the beach. I uh, just used my sunglasses and got a left and right shot of the beach in, in the glasses. And people freaking loved it. And that one, so easy. Like I done that pretty much all in Snapseed. You know, free app, easy to use. And there's even like millions of bloody tutorials out there on the internet of how to use Snapseed. Because you know, not everyone has Photoshop or wants to go into the world of hell that is Photoshop. And that one's completely free. Occasionally I'll think back to it like, I think the most fun I had doing photography was when I was learning sort of new things. Especially when I was first starting like, yeah the stuff was, it was terrible. Like now stand, I look back like a year or so now and like, I sort of cringe at some of the stuff I did. But at the time like I was having fun and just enjoying learning new little things like learning the software learning how to use the camera better, how to expose for different settings and just, you know, stuff like that. And you'll find that just learning a new little trick that you don't know, just enough of a little kick at a, I think, spark a bit of motivation to keep going. And obviously, you know, do it once, don't overdo it, don't post the next 10 posters, you know, your new trick, because, you know, because, you know, people will, you know, they'll get bored of that pretty quick. But number four, learn a new trick. You know, number five, have fun with it. I sort of covered this off in that video I did last week when I went down to the river and I was just playing with the Mavic Air, just doing the quick shot. Now, like I said in that video, like you constantly, after all, you just find yourself out just looking through a screen and you know, you don't really care what you're doing, I guess, or care what you're looking at. You just want to get a great shot for, I guess, your social media post or, you know, your own portfolio or whatever. But take some time every now and then just to have fun with your gear, reconnect with it. That's what I've come down here for. I'm just down here simply for a play with this. Great spot to fly, nice and open, calm day and I'm just gonna put him up in the air and just see what happens. I have no shots in mind planned. Just have a play. You know, like I was saying before, like the most fun I had with photography was when I was first starting out and learning and you know, playing with new toys. Like, you know, a drone just felt like a new thing to me. It was amazing, I'm, like I'm flying a drone, like, you know, something that you would've dreamed of having when you are a kid. Then after a while, like, you know, I sort, of, I sort of see this as like more of a, I guess a tool now and not really a toy. And I honestly don't find it that fun to fly. Like, it's, kind of boring and it's nice to, uh, just to come somewhere and I think just have a play and tinker around you know chuck it in sport mode and throw it through the air and see how far she can get up in the breeze just treat it as a toy every now and then even though it's not it's very expensive you now it's like having a fast car like every now and then you like to um you know drop it back to second and see how fast you can go the speed limit that was it tip number five you now and that's pretty much it uh, that's just some of the thought processes that I go through when you know, I'm in a bit of a rut and I can't think of anything to, I guess, motivate me to get off my ass and go out and create something. So I'm going to use some of those techniques right now and, and put this fella in the air. I'm going to walk up a little bit further and launch because a ship is parked just off the end of the breakwater. So I'm going to go have a bit of a sticky beak. Should be fun. Alright, see you after we fly. pushing a wheelbarrow for their fishing gear. Brilliant. All right, well, that's it for this one. Hope you got something out of that, because um, I did a bunch of cool shots for the old social medias. You simply just have to do the first part yourself and go outside, hit record, hit the shutter button, see what happens. I got lucky today, I had a ship leaving port. So I'm glad it came out because those five tips that I just went over uh, kind of worked for me, so there you go. Alright guys, until the next one, have a great weekend, see you later.